Welcome to a brand new feature here on Rock Show Critique. Today, checking in from the road. And our special guest is none other than Jeff Pilsen from Foreigner. Welcome. Well, thank you. Good to be here. Yeah, good to talk to you again. Um, so obviously you guys are um, right in the middle of your tour here um with lover boy and you're going to be hitting the uh saint joseph's health amphitheater at lakeview on september 2nd um obviously that's labor day weekend and the state fair is going to be going on next door so there's a lot going on down there that weekend so uh tell us about the uh tour and how's it been going so far to this point well it's been going great lover boy have been amazing the shows have been phenomenal i mean the attendance has been really crazy i mean we're freaking out at how many people are coming and uh it's just been great i mean it, it's just such a wonderful night of music i mean like i say between lover boy and us it's a hit filled night chock full of hits <laughs> so you guys are going to be touring uh obviously the I think the this part of the tour will end um right after uh pretty much after there's one more date i think after syracuse and then you guys got some other dates later on in the year um, what's the schedule going to be like for 2024? Are you going to be more on a, on a big tour again or just doing uh, regular headline dates? Well, um, yes, I, I, I can't give you all the details, but yes, we will be touring through 2024 and there is a major tour in mind and uh, we'll be announcing it shortly. So you'll hear about it. Awesome. Awesome. Definitely sounds good. Uh, so obviously you've joined Foreigner way, way back <laughs> 2004 there and um you've actually been in foreigner now longer than you've been in docking <laughs> did you ever imagine you were going to be here this long when you first started with the band not really no <laughs> <laughs> it was actually it was pitched to me as weekend work when i first got it <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> uh, I, I i as soon as kelly joined though i knew that was not to be the case um, yeah, no, I never thought it'd go this long, but man, what a, what a path it's been and what a, what a journey it's been. It's been fantastic. Yeah. So tell, tell us about the uh, show itself, obviously, uh, without giving too much away for the people who haven't seen it yet. Um, I know one thing I've noticed, which it looks pretty cool is you guys are doing like a small acoustic segment. We are, we are, we're doing an acoustic segment. We, we figured we wanted to, you know, pull out all the stops on this tour, um, well, you're right. I don't want to give too much away, but let's just say that there is an acoustic segment. Um, we are doing some pretty deep cuts and and uh, and and yet there's all the hits and there's everything you want. And it's a high energy show. And between Loverboy and us, like I said, it's just nonstop familiar songs. It's a great night of music. As far as the acoustic set is concerned, um, how did you guys come about deciding to put that in? I thought that was a pretty, pretty good idea. I remember you guys did a acoustic show a uh, little touring uh, back in uh, a couple of years ago where you came up to the uh, Falls of you in uh, Niagara Falls, Ontario. Um, was that something a little related to that? You felt it would give it the show a little bit more uh, variety? Well, we did think it would give the show more variety. It wasn't really based on acoustic shows. We, we were doing a residency in Vegas recently and we did the acoustic show there and it just worked out so well that we wanted to bring it into this headlining set for the farewell tour and it's worked out amazing and glad we're doing it so now once obviously once you guys finally end it um whenever that tends to be 2024 or somewhere in the near future um do you have anything lined up as far as what you plan on doing with the time you're going to have uh, in front of you there well you know i'm involved with a lot of different um pr projects musically so um, one of the things I plan on doing is doing a lot of recording. I've got uh, The End Machine. I've got Revolution Saints. I've got Black Swan. So I've got plenty of other projects for recording. And there's even some foreigner material that's kicking around that isn't finished that we're hoping we can finish in the meantime. So just because foreigner is farewell to big tours doesn't mean that we're done. So uh, maybe, hopefully, with all fingers crossed, there'll be some foreigner music uh, coming out at some point, too. Um, uh, yeah, you just did the Revolution Saints album came out a little while back there. Um, and tell us about who you were working with on that project and uh, how it went. Well, that's Dean Castronova, the drummer from Journey. He's the singer for Revolution Saints. And uh, he plays drums on the records, of course. And um, Joel Hoekstra, guitar player for Whitesnake and uh, 
just a phenomenal guitarist and writer. Um, so it's it's just an amazing band. The record came out. We're we're getting great response to it. We've got another one in the can that's coming out at some point, not too long from now. And we're going to start writing a third soon. So um, lots to do with the Revolution Saints project. So are there any uh, plans for any touring with any of these projects uh, once you find the time to possibly do anything like that? Well, maybe because, you know, once once Foreigner is done touring, yeah, maybe I will have time. Um, you know, it's it's very difficult with those projects because they tend to be with people that all have gigs with other people. So it's sort of hard to coordinate any live shows and it tends to be expensive and all that. But um, but yeah, that's that's my mind is very open to that if that can happen once Foreigner's done touring. Now, ever since you joined Foreigner, uh, you, you've been on a massive roll with, you know, uh, touring. Uh, you guys are hitting sometimes over 100 shows a year, a minimum of 60 or so. And it just seems like it's been a nonstop grind. Um, how, how does the touring compare nowadays as opposed to back when you were, say, in Dokken? Now, do you notice much of a difference or is it a faster pace now or how would you describe it? Well, you know, I mean, you know, we're, we're, we're an older band now, so it's not really, it's, I mean, instead of sex, drugs, and rock and roll, it's more about the rock and roll, <laughs> um, but uh, that's okay. Um, you know, I mean, it, with Foreigner, it, it is very family-like, so um, it's just a wonderful touring atmosphere. We all get along great. Everything is fabulous. We have an amazing crew, management, everything else, um, so I mean, the difference really is is the difference in us personally as people. I mean, I was a different person 35 years ago. <laughs> and so uh, it's, of course, is going to be different. Um, it's, but now, like I say, it's all about the music and taking care of ourselves so that we make sure every time we go out there to play, we're giving the best we can. All right. Well, I mean, it's great, great to talk to you here real quick uh, to you yeah, know, give you an update you. on the tour. Um, any last words uh, or anything you want to add in uh, before I let you go? No, just uh, watch for watch for the show. It's going to be great. Um, I, I think people are going to just be floored by it so far. It's been the, the reaction and um, just looking forward to it. And, and thank you for all the support, not only to Foreigner, but to all the other projects for all these years. It's been wonderful and we really appreciate it.